Welcome, sweet friends, to the channel Frugal Money Saver. My name is Emmy. My husband is Paul. We are an early retirement debt and mortgage-free couple living in the state of New York, and our videos show you how to live a full, abundant life while spending less money. Today's video is going to be motivational. We want to get you motivated. It's time to prepare. Prepare for what? The upcoming autumn season. Right now, we are in the middle of a heat wave. We have a heat advisory for today and tomorrow, upwards of a real feel of about 104. What? Here in New York? Yes. That doesn't mean we shouldn't start thinking about literally a month from now, especially if you live in a cold weather area. Even if you don't, hurricane season is still upon us until November. So we just want you to get motivated and get prepared. You know, autumn is a beautiful season, it really is. But there is a drastic difference between summer and autumn. The days get shorter, the nights get really long, the weather gets colder, it's rainier, the leaves start to fall, the roads can get slick. So there's just so many things that we want to help you prepare for. And the reason we are doing it now is to save you money. This way, at the last minute, you are not running out saying, oh, I forgot to do this, spending full price, or I forgot to buy this, spending full price. So starting now, keep your eye out for what we talk about. Remember the appointments you need to set up. If you need to set any, this way you are not bombarded all at once with high costs and lots of little incidentals. Grab a pencil and paper. I think we have about a dozen tips and hints to prepare you for the cold weather. After we talk a little bit, we are going to go upstairs into our bathroom closet. You know we keep it real here. We do. I don't clean before you see what you're going to see. We do not have a linen closet. So our bathroom closet is our linen closet. It's got sheets, it's got towels, it's got all our health and beauty aids. What you're gonna see is quite a lot, but what we're doing is showing you how we're preparing now with our health and beauty aids and with the things we need for the upcoming colder weather season. So let's get right to these hints and tips. The first one is, if you heat with oil, get your furnace cleaned and maintained now. You want to make sure it's running at full efficiency because that saves you money. That's just practical good sense because you don't want to have to do that once the cold weather sets in. So if you haven't done that yet, please make a note to have that done. If you use an alternative source of heat, we use wood. We have a wood stove insert and we burn wood probably from November 1st all the way sometimes till April 1st. Make sure you get your alternate source of heat now. We got our wood back in May. We got four cords of it. So we are good for the winter. But don't forget to do that again. Don't wait till the last minute. Your prices are going to go up. They're going to be backed up delivering. So try to get that stuff done now as well. If you do burn alternate sources of heat, get your chimney cleaned, checked, inspected. Do it now again. We got ours done as soon as the burning season was over. I guess we got it done probably at the beginning of June. We know we're ready to go once we need to turn it on. So important. That is a huge safety plus too when you keep your chimney maintained and cleaned. Another one, as the windows get shut, as the doors get shut, check your carbon monoxide detector and your smoke alarm. Make sure they're running efficiently and make sure your batteries are fully charged and have extra batteries ready to go. Again, these are things that we don't always remember to check or do, but I'm asking you now, this is all really good stuff to start getting done. Number five, 
working flashlights and extra batteries. Have you ever pulled a flashlight out of the cabinet, you turn it on and you bang it against your hand, you're like, come on, come on, you get that flicker of light. Every area of the house should have a flashlight. That power goes out in the middle of the night and you're in the living room or you're in a kitchen or wherever. You don't wanna to have to be walking around a dark home trying to get to a light source. Keep one in the kitchen, the living room, by your bed, in the bathroom even. I know that sounds funny, but trust me, you never know when that's going to happen. And they don't have to be big flashlights, doesn't have to be expensive, just something so that you're able to see and get around and not trip over something or harm yourself. Make sure your fire extinguisher is up to date and fully charged. That again is something not a lot of people think of, but check it. Is it fully charged? Is it ready to go? God forbid you're never ever going to need it. But these are all things we need to think of. Number seven, bottled water and shelf stable food. You watch my channel at all, you know we preach that constantly. Have some bottled water, definitely enough for as many people as you have in your home. Shelf stable food, peanut butter, canned vegetables, canned fruit, canned protein, have some pastas, beans, rice, anything that is shelf stable that you can turn into good nutritious food. Another tip is make some delicious broths now for your freezer. If you can, that's wonderful. Whether it be chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, any of those, make them now in the crock pot. If somebody's not feeling well, you're a little under the weather, you don't have to run to the store and get a big box or can of that heavily salted MSG laden chicken stock or beef stock or veggie stock. Your own is pure, you know what goes into it, and there is nothing that warms the soul like a good bowl of soup. What is going to be happening is as the windows get shut and as the doors get shut, germs breed, linger longer than they do when the air is moist and there's airflow constantly. We don't know what the fall is going to bring, so you wanna be prepared health-wise as well. So I want you also to go through your first aid supplies. Check the date on items. We keep bandages, we keep antibiotic cream, we keep alcohol, we keep peroxide, we keep things like that in the home all the time. You don't, again, want to be running out to pick these things up in an emergency keep them in the home so i want you to go through that and check dates and if you've run out of something and you know you have and you haven't picked it up band-aids whatever it may be put it on your list start getting those items now another one that you may not think of is tissues and possibly if you drink it things like Gatorade. They've got great electrolytes in them. I don't drink that often, but we always have, come the fall, a bottle or two of Gatorade in the house. Never fails. If you catch a cold, handkerchiefs are great, but they need to be washed daily and you need to have a stack of them. So an extra box of tissues is never a bad thing. You know I'm not big on paper products, but that is something we keep in the home for emergencies as well. We want you to think about checking your cold weather equipment, your snow blowers, your shovels. Is your shovel good? Our shovel actually cracked last year. So we bought one at the end of the season. Keep an eye out for those kind of things. Did you check your generator if you have a generator? Make sure that's running efficiently. Your car, start thinking about getting it cold weather ready. Do you need tires? How's the tread on your tires? Make sure the tread is good. Make sure your air pressure is correct. That'll save you money on gasoline as well as keeping you safe. 
very important as this weather starts to change. Now I'm gonna take a break right here for a minute and we're gonna go upstairs to our bathroom cabinet. Be prepared, it's shocking. It has been overlooked for a while. If we buy extra toothpaste, it's being piled. We have to go through our little first aid basket. Before we did that, we needed to make a trip to the dollar store so that we were able to organize what we had. You'll understand in a minute. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna take you into our scary bathroom closet slash linen closet slash everything closet for, the, for upstairs. So here you go. Let's turn this camera around. The first thing we needed to do was buy some organizational products and that's all I can call them. What's happening is everything is falling. Everything is grouped together. It's a mess. We went to the local Dollar Tree and spent about $12.50. We got six of these 11 by 15 trays, baskets, whatever you wanna call them, and they're pretty sturdy. These are a little bit smaller, and they were packs of two for the $1.25, and they fit in here beautifully. These were packs of three for $1.25. Again, perfect fit. So what we need to do first and foremost is clean everything out of that cabinet, see what's in there, toss out what is no good or we're not using, and just redo it so we are saving money by knowing exactly what we have. Now you may not know this, but Toothpastes have expiration dates. You see the one on the right is March 24, and the one on the left is November of 22, or vice versa, however it comes up in the video. But you can see that they're two different dates. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put them, the one that expires first in the front, and make sure we use up what we're supposed to first, even with our health and beauty aids. The bottom shelf is so much better better. The things that I use daily are in that little basket. All our first aid supplies, we went through everything. That's done. In the back is all our toothpastes. Down there are all my nail polishes. There we have our soaps and our razors. Miscellaneous here. And I'm able to reach everything now so much better. You see, the problem is, you see that slanted wall in there? So you're losing all that space because it ends right there. When the virus hit in full force a couple of years ago, alcohol was something that we couldn't find. So we always keep two bottles in here now. Peroxide is another thing, bandages, creams like antibiotic cream, thermometers, different size bandages. So just to always have this stuff on hand is super important with everything going on right now. My son gifted these to us. I believe it was for our 15th or 20th anniversary. Look at them with the Mickey heads and he had our names embroidered on them, but aren't they precious? You can see the unopened package of sheets. I have two of them up there. When Kohl's has their end of year sale, I always stock up on at least one. I have a spring sheet and then I have the flannel. I use their 30% off and it's great just to have extra. So we were able to organize this entire cabinet. And it may not look organized to you, but at least we know where everything is, all like products are together. Much, much better.
we feel better. It was a little embarrassing showing you the before, but we keep it real here. This is our life that we are trying to encourage you with. We kind of keep it transparent so that we can show you that we are just like you are. We struggle with certain things just like everybody else. But the good part is when you go at it and you do it and the other side of the fence, it's done and looks wonderful. You feel more in control and you know exactly what you have and that saves money and it keeps you feeling good about what you have. And I was looking back when I was editing in the first aid kit and I saw my vintage bottle of Love's Baby Soft right in the front of the first aid. And I'm like, they're gonna know that's not first aid, but it fits so perfectly there. Do any of you wear Love's Baby Soft back in the day? I don't know, but that stuff is amazing. We also have to remember as the days are changing, the nights are getting longer, the days are getting shorter, less sunlight. There can be a melancholy kind of feeling that settles in. So what we want to do is think of all the positives that autumn brings. Autumn brings the most vibrant colors everywhere. As beautiful as summer is, I have to say here in the Northeast, our autumn is breathtaking. The leaves, the colors, the smell, you can smell wood fires burning and pumpkin and cinnamon everywhere. It's really amazing. And when you look at the bright oranges of the pumpkins and the pinks of the pumpkins now and the blues of the pumpkins now, gourds and just the beauty of the fallen leaves, it's, it's just such a majestic time. And it also gives us time to come back inside because our gardening is done now at this point. We have more time to cultivate our passions indoors, whatever your hobbies may be. There's more time to cook now. There's more time to bake and enjoy the coziness that being inside brings. So there are so many positives that we need to focus on as the changes of season come along in just about a month. We hope this video motivated you not to jump up and do everything at once. We're just asking you to start preparing. Get ready. Pick up little things here and there when you're out and about and they are on sale. Schedule some appointments for the things we talked about if you need to. It's just not waiting till the last minute, having to run out, being unprepared for the colder weather. Try to just do a little bit at a time so when that colder weather and those shorter days and the road conditions change, you're ready. You don't have to worry about a thing. We talk about being prepared all the time and now is the time to start thinking about autumn. So now, our question of the day, what is your hands down favorite part of autumn? What are some things you like to cook and bake? What are activities you like to do? What do you find the most rewarding come the autumn season? Please share it with us. We will share it with our viewers. We all learn from each other and we all encourage each other. So we thank you for spending this time with us. We ask you to please give this video a thumbs up. It helps us so much. We ask you to subscribe if you haven't. Click that notification bell and go to all so every time we make a video, you are alerted. We ask you to stay safe. We ask you to be well. And above all, we wish you blessings. Until our next video, bye-bye. Dixie, would you like some carrots and some lettuce? Okay.